Some people were upset that I compared our clover lawn to this upcoming grass lawn, but this was genuinely just the closest patch of grass to us. But here are more grass lawns I took on today's walk. I figured everybody knew what grass looked like, so I didn't need to provide more examples. But the point is that clover untouched thrives while grass requires a ton of water and resources. And when you're in a drought like we are, that's just not possible or ethical. Here's a golf course with the quote unquote best grass I could find. We planted clover because of its environmental benefits, but honestly, even aesthetically, when compared to that perfect sterile grass lawn, I still prefer the clover. Right now it is completely grown out. Occasionally we do mow it down, but it's a whimsical fairy garden that's more visually interesting on top of being more eco-friendly. So I'm team clover.